Greetings, dear friends. Reverend Lydia with the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. How are you and how have you been? I hope that you are well. As I always tell you that here, the Online Church of Uganda, we always pray for you. I bring you greetings from the Online Church of Uganda. And the truth is, we always pray for you. Believing our good God to take you, believing our good God to take you through everything and every situation you might be going through. Brothers and sisters, yes, we've been studying and we're still studying the book of James. And now I'll read from James chapter 4. And our topic of our discussion is humility. Brothers and sisters, you and me, I believe, have demonstrated in some occasions tendencies of pride. I know that there is a health kind of pride and unhealth kind of pride. Yes, a health kind of pride is feeling good of what you have done, you know, being confident in what you have achieved. But unhealth kind of pride is being excessively confident or having excessive opinion, a very high opinion of yourself, being full of yourself. As a matter of fact, being arrogant, considering oneself more important than everyone else. Pride stinks and it is detestable. Scripture tells us that among the seven things that God hates is a proud look or being proud. Yes, pride is a secret killer. It is actually poison. No wonder scripture or the word of God discourages being proud. Shall we please go together to the reading of God's word in James chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. What does it say? God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I will also read verse 10. Verse 10 says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up the word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the call today is that you and me will be humble. Yes, I have fallen short. Maybe you have fallen short and you've demonstrated tendencies of being proud and arrogant. May God have mercy upon us. Yes, pride is detestable. God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. My prayer is that you and me will be humble. Yes, to be modest and avoid self-exaltation and avoid being arrogant and avoid being full of ourselves and avoid showing off. God is calling you and me to be humble. Pride is detestable. And let me tell you, sisters and brothers, humility never hurts anyone, but it positions us for greatness. Yes, humility prepares us and indeed puts us in the right place to be able to attain God's blessings for our lives. Yes, we all know that pride comes before a fall, but humility attracts blessings, wisdom, and favor. It brings promotion. Pride separates us from God, but humility brings us close to God. As a matter of fact, my brothers and sisters, humility is the nature of God. Jesus, in his life on earth, demonstrated humility. Him being God, he did not equate himself to God. But he accepted to even die. In humility, he died the worst death ever. The kind of death that humiliated him. But that was a sign of humility. Brothers and sisters, pride demonstrates that we are walking in disobedience. But humility demonstrates that 
We are actually dependent on God. We are obedient to God and that we totally trust God. That our confidence is in God, not in our own wisdom, not in our, in our own achievement, not in anything that we have acquired in life. But when we demonstrate humility, brothers and sisters, we are well positioned to live and operate in God's grace. As a matter of fact, brothers and sisters, humility enables you and me to access and receive the free gift of God's grace. You want to be promoted? You want to enjoy favor? You want to see great things come your way? You want to see victory come your way? Let us choose the way of humility. Do nothing out of selfish ambitions. Never putting people down, brothers and sisters. Never considering ourselves more important than others, but in humility, putting others before us. Considering people's interests before us. Learning from Jesus Christ, who humbled himself. He did not equate himself to God, but he accepted to die on that cross. Yes, Jesus is our perfect example of humility. May you and me learn to be humble. Brothers and sisters, Jesus was exalted to that highest place. Yes, because he died on that cross. He rose again from the grave. And you and me now <laughs> have life because of what Jesus did for us at Calvary. And do you know what? He was given a name that is above every other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee bows down. Because of his act, because of his humility, him accepting to go onto that cross, hallelujah, promotion came his way. Humility brings promotion brings favor, brings blessings, and most so, a good name. Brothers and sisters, my prayer for you and for me is that you will operate in, in God's grace. But do you know what? Humility makes it possible. My brothers and sisters, my prayer again is that you and me will inherit the kingdom of God. But do you know what? Humility makes it possible. My brothers, Yes, my prayer is that you and me will become everything that God has called you to be. But do you know what? Humility makes it possible. Hallelujah. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that in due season he will lift you up. Yes, God lifts the humble. God gives victory to the humble. Indeed, God's grace is indeed available to all of us, but the humble enjoy his grace. May you and me clothe ourselves in humility as children of God. Yes, may humility lead the way. Remember, humility never hurts anyone, but it positions us in the right places. Yes, may we never think of ourselves better than others, but may we allow God to take the lead in our lives. My prayer for you and for me is that we shall remain humble. Where well, we have fallen short, that God himself may pick us up and help us emulate the may God help us to emulate that humility that Christ Jesus demonstrated before us. May the Lord bless you. Father God, we thank you so much for reminding us today that indeed you oppose the proud. That among the seven things you hate is a proud look. Help us to die to any form of pride in us and give us the grace to live a humble life, to remain humble as Christ was. My brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in his, in his presence. May the Lord engulf you. May the Lord hem you in on all sides. And most so, may the Lord continue to position you in the right places. My brothers and sisters, may his blessings go before you and after you. His blessings rest upon everything you lay your hands on. His blessings be upon people that are important and projects that are important in your life. His blessings make you a blessing. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, do not hesitate to visit 
the different social media platforms of the online church of uganda you will certainly be blessed may the lord bless you